Do you use a page builder plugin like Elementor, Beaver Builder, and you've been looking for the perfect theme you can use with your page builder plugin? Well, if your answer is yes, look no further because I may just have found the perfect theme for you. Hello, welcome to the Bed Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Today, I have a theme that I'm going to review for you, and this theme is called the Page Builder Framework Theme. Not the most original of theme names, I know, but this is a really awesome theme, especially if you use a page builder plugin like Elementor or Beaver Builder, maybe even Divi, Breezy, you name it. Now, I only just discovered this theme about a few weeks ago. The developers actually contacted me and said, hey, Alex, uh, we have this theme that we feel would be perfect for our page builder plugins. Would you like to review it? And I said, sure, let me take a look. And boy, I got to tell you, this theme is actually pretty awesome awesome so the theme is called the page builder framework theme it's actually free for you to use all you have to do is go to wp-pagebuilderframework.com and you'll see the big blue button here that says download now they do have a premium add-on which is actually a plugin not a theme which provides more features i'll talk about that a bit later but you can go ahead download and use this theme and it works great with just about every kind of page builder plugin out there. So what I've done here is I've installed the theme as you can see. So what I wanna do here is very quickly show you what you can actually do with this theme. There are a lot of things you can do which you typically would find in many other themes. So what I wanna do here is to concentrate on the additional options which you probably may not have in your current theme. So. I'm going to go over here to the customize section. So on the general, if I go to layout, there's this little feature here called the scroll top. This is extremely useful. And what this does is if you have a page that's very long, or maybe you're building like a one page website where you have all these columns and sections, you typically want to provide users with the ability to click on one button that will take them all the way back to the top. And that's what this theme provides. It's called the scroll top. Now it's perfect for my website, which is a one page website. Now, as I start to scroll down, you can see that I now have the arrow there. And if I click on it, it takes me straight to the top. This very simple feature is one that gets constantly overlooked by lots of themes and it frustrates me. Thankfully, this particular plugin offers you the option to display this particular function. And of course, you can change the position, change the color, stuff like that. All right, pretty cool. But with this theme, you also have access to breadcrumbs. You can choose to display your breadcrumbs and then if you decide to do so, you can then choose exactly where you want to display your breadcrumbs, whether it's in your category pages, your search page, your posts, regular pages, and so on. So you've got that option. You also have the option of configuring your 404 page. What kind of title do you want to display? What kind of text do you want to display? And you also want to show the uh, search form, which I believe is very useful. You don't need to install uh, a plugin to get your 404 page uh, up and running. So what else does this thing provide that you might not get in other uh, themes uh, with blog typography these are pretty standard but then with your header which is typically a problem with lots of themes you have lots of options that allow you to customize how you want to display your logo the height your title your tagline and navigation do you want to display your navigation on the right on the left on the center do you want to keep it stacked you've got options for your menu item spacing you can change your background color your font color basically you have lots of really cool options in here you've also got the sub menu how would you like to display the children items under your main uh, menu item you can change the width add your padding change the alignment do really cool stuff like that and of course you've got mobile navigation do you want to display the hamburger when your menu is viewed on a mobile device you've got options for the height icon size you can add padding lots of really really cool features and of course you've also got the pre header do you want to display a pre-header with one column? You can add your text and background color, or maybe even go with two columns, add your text and background color if you wanted to. So some really cool uh, additional options for you here under the header. And of course, with the footer, you can change the height, change the width, change your font color, 
and so on and so forth. Now things get even more interesting when you're trying to add a new page. So over here under the template settings, you've got this really cool feature called disable header or disable the footer or maybe even disable both. A lot of times whenever you're working with a page without plugin like Elementor, or maybe even Beaver Builder, on one page you might want to display the header you've built with your page builder plugin, but then you may want to display the footer that was configured by the theme. So lots of times you may have this issue where you either have to go with the header and footer provided by the theme or you go with the header and footer that you've built using your page builder plugin. You typically don't have that option of choosing header with the page builder plugin, footer with the theme or vice versa. With this theme, you can actually do this. So for this particular page right now, I can decide to say, you know what, I'm going to disable the header for the theme and use the header I've built with Elementor, but then I will show the footer that I have designed with the theme. And another page, I can say, well, I'm going to do the, do the exact opposite. I will display the header that the theme provides me, but then I will display the footer that I've configured with Elemental. So this is a really cool feature you're not going to find in most other themes. Plus, you've also got your sidebar settings where you can inherit global settings. You can choose to either display your sidebar on the right, left, or maybe even display no sidebar at all, which is pretty kind of standard. So basically, that's it for the Page Builder Framework theme. It is a theme that's also very, very fast. I know lots of developers always claim that their theme is lightning fast, it's so quick, but trust me, I've done the experiments and this theme is actually very, very fast. It's free for you to use. You can go to Page Builder, wp-pagebuilderframework.com, download and use the theme. If you're not happy, Hey, you can always go back and use the theme you've been using before, but I have a feeling you might actually really enjoy using this particular theme. Now let's talk about the premium add-on this particular theme provides, and it's a plugin, and it costs $58 for one year of subscription and support, but I'm going to show you exactly why you might want to consider going with the premium add-on. So I've got it installed on my website. now. With the premium add-on, you will get additional options under your customization uh, section. So on the general, you will be able to add your social media links, your social media icons, which are pretty standard. With header, you will also have additional options like your sticky navigation, navigation hover effects. You will be able to add a transparent header. And then with your footer as well, you'll be able to display your footer sticky if you wanted to. You will have access to one or two columns where you can add your copyright protection if you wanted to. Uh, also, with your uh, typography, you're going to have access to way more options. You can add your tab kit. You can add custom fonts as well if you wanted to. And then finally, you would also have access to scripts and styles where you can add scripts specifically either for your header or maybe even for your footer. But you know where things get really interesting with this premium add-on? I'm going to show you. If I go over to my back end, what this premium plugin offers you is access to something known as custom sections. So in here right now, I'm going to go ahead now and add a new custom section and I'll show you exactly what this does. Let's just give it a title real quick and say, I'm going to call this uh, test content. All right. And then let's say I want to display a specific piece of text in a very specific location on my website. So let's say the text is hello world. I am happy. All right, over here, you can choose the location. Where do you want to display this piece of text? In the header, the footer, the 404 page, or something known as hooks. What exactly are these hooks? Over here right now to the right, if I clicked on display hooks, it's going to show me exactly where I can display this piece of content. I can display it in different locations in the header, just after the main menu, just above the main uh, title of a post, just above the sidebar, and then down here, just above the footer, maybe even inside the footer as well. So you can display any kind of content in a very specific location on your website. So let's say, for example, I wanted to display this just above the main header. So I'm going to go with WPBF underscore header underscore open. So let's do this. I'm going to go over here to my hooks and I'm going to go to header and I'm going to choose the WPBF underscore header underscore before and then underscore header, right? Let's choose that. 
So I've chosen to display this content just above the header. Let's go ahead and publish this. And now let's take a look at my website. I'm going to go over here right now and I'm going to hard refresh. And actually, let me just hide the theme hooks so we, so we can see the full content. And there you go. Right now, you can see I'm displaying the hello world. I am happy just above my main header. So this is one fantastic feature that this particular premium add-on provides you with the ability to create custom sections and then display content in very specific locations on your website. And also you can choose to either display this particular content all across your entire site, or you can choose very specific posts or pages, and you can do the exact opposite where you, where you exclude this piece of content on certain areas of your website. So I believe this particular feature alone is worth your time and money. I haven't seen too many plugins that offer you this ability to display content in very specific locations on your website. So once again, the pricing is it's $58 for one year. You will find a link in the description box below if you're interested in getting this premium add-on. But don't forget the page builder framework itself is actually free for you to use. You can install the theme today, start using it. And if you don't like the theme, you can always go back to the previous theme you've been using, but I can almost guarantee you that you'll enjoy using the page builder framework theme and of course do give the premium add-on a trial i'm pretty sure you'll be convinced that the add-on is worth your time and money so that's it if you have any questions about this theme or the premium add-on be sure to let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I release new content on the channel. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure providing you with this review of the Page Builder Framework theme and its premium add-on. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.